My name is Karen and on and off over the past 20 years, I have bought and sold vintage collectibles. Recently, I started searching for items at thrift and antique stores, flea markets, and anywhere else for bargains hoping to resell for a profit. Over the past few months, I have found some incredible items and now I'm sharing my shopping experiences with you. So welcome and let's go thrifting. Hi everyone, we're at Thrift USA and we're gonna head in and see what they have. Come on, let's go. Okay, so we are, hopefully you can hear me through this mask. I started off over here. There were people in here when I first started, so I didn't start filming, but I went ahead and found this piece here that I think I'm gonna go ahead and get. It's $8.99. It's in a pond, um, and then in a different area, I found this piece that's not marked, and they want $1.99, so they both seem like they go together. Maybe they were bought at different times, but I'm going to go ahead and get those. This beautiful, I think it's a chocolate pot, but I'm not sure. It's got the five glasses with it. Um, they all look in great shape. It looks like maybe someone dumped their stuff from there. Maybe antique booth or something. But this is really pretty. This, I can't, I can't tell you the mark right offhand, but it is marked. And they were $14.99 for all of it. Now, they had another one over there. The cups didn't look like it went with a teapot that I was really interested in. So again, this is just all the same glassware here. Now there is a reason why I came back. Today is not a normal day that I usually come over here, but I'm going out of town this weekend, and I've been thinking all week about these art glass items that I'm going to show you here in a minute. That I saw last week that are still here, and I'm probably going to go ahead and get them. This is still here. I have no idea what that is and why would you sell that? Mm. It's kind of animal hide, I guess. Okay, so over here in the case. See this perfume bottle? It looks like a perfume bottle. That is from the same company that the other two pieces I'm pretty sure are from. But they want $29.99 on that. I'm going to wait for that one and hopefully the price will come down eventually. Here's another one up there. Then over here, I might get the heart there. They've marked that down to $4.99. And then they have another piece that's from the same company. Um, I forgot the name of the company. Uh, I'll figure it out here in a minute. But not much more in here. And then these are the two pieces that I'm going to get them to get out. They're those, they look like sea urchins. And I might consider the other one down there, the third piece. Same with $24.99. But I found the company's items do do well, but I couldn't find these two items. So I'm hoping people are interested in them. They said they're from their Sea Life series. And uh, I'm hoping... I don't know about that green sea urchin thing. We'll see. So anyway, I came over here. Let's see if I can push my cart. That's where I found it's a chocolate pot or something. I went through all these items already, but we'll do it again. I didn't get it on film. 
Murataki. This is pretty. I didn't see this while ago. Yeah, that's Prussia. About five ninety nine. The gold is really worn on it, but I don't see any chips or cracks. So I might get that. Okay. We should go through twice. See, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. But look at this pattern. Those don't even look like a rose. They look like a plumeria, but I don't know what they are. And then you look at this. These are roses. And these are all pink. This has got like pink and kind of peach. That's so cute, but these don't go with it. I wonder if it would be interesting to get it. I think I'm twenty four ninety nine. Split it up. But these aren't marked. It's so hard to sell something that isn't marked. This is marked. So it would just be hard. I thought this was cute. But I don't want to sell just a single cup. See this before. We're talking. Two ninety nine. Okay, I think I'm gonna go get someone to let me see these on. Let's see what this is. That's Lamage. Is it pretty though? I don't know. A dollar ninety-nine. I don't know. And this one's not marked. I did look at it. without lids. That beautiful pot is gone. It had the crack in it. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go grab somebody and I think right now we're going to stick with these two items. Three. Four. I guess we have four items that we have in here. I'm going to think about the um, these two bottom ones. Maybe. But I think I'm definitely getting the other two. Okay. Okay, let's check out this area. So, I tried to get someone to open the case, but they're really busy, so we'll give them a minute to get the, uh, to be able to help them out. So, I didn't press them, but, um, they put kind of random creamers over here. I haven't really figured this area out. Is, is it damaged there? It looks like maybe it's been re-glued. This is an odd looking piece. $9.99, that's 
not marked. That's too hard. Okay. Okay. So this. This is an actual chamber. Pot. And it's old. $24.99, but I'm not gonna get it. But you know, if you like wash stands or it's really cool. Well something can't read it. But that lid never survives. It's Limoge. I can hear it though. What is this? What is that? It looks like a dog dish. I don't know what that. I guess it's some kind of chip and dip. This is, this is too Okay, I'm gonna put them down here. We're gonna retail. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna look here. This looks old. I'm not sure. This is pretty. Um, no mark. Can't do anything with that mark. These are really pretty. Mm -hmm. That one's damaged. And then there's more over here of a different pattern. What is this? Japan. Okay, let's look over here. It really looks like they've added new things or changed things up a little bit since I was here last weekend. Reproduction. I don't know. Let's look at it. My cookie, my test is to see if it's been used, and it has. Shoot all door. There is a name on the bottom that's really hard to read. Might be able to read it through the camera. She doesn't look like she's been repainted, and they only fourteen ninety nine. Cookie jars just don't do that well anymore. I'm gonna look it over. And maybe consider it. Okay. Okay. You might have seen it before I did, but there's a repair right there. So, it's definitely been broken, so I'm going to put her back up. She's cute. Do it the right way. She was backwards. This part was backwards. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm supposed to get a new subscriber today. Someone just asked me about what my channel name was. So that was nice. I thought he was going to ask me not to film. Which, um, they do know that I do film. Anyway, I don't see anything else. This is a, a lot of collector plates, so I'm not even going to go through that one. 
Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if they put any new salt and pepper shakers out. Or look at that. Is that a what bird? Is that? Andrea, that I think went with another piece that was up here last week, which looks like maybe it's gone now. Okay. Look at this cute little thing. Okay, I'm painting a pond. It's got the little, I guess it's jam or mustard, and this one's missing theirs. This is Japan, so cute. I don't know if I want those though. Okay. Okay, well out of that case, I ended up getting, they had to take them up front. They always have to take them up front. Um, the green and the pink shell, and I'll show them to you later. Um, so I'm gonna go look at a couple of other things. She's taking them up front for me. The other items, I'm gonna wait on the yellow looking sea urchin thing. It's just so weird. That's Germany, but I'm gonna try to be selective. I'm going to a big flea market this weekend and I wanna be able to get quite a bit if I see things I want and not overdo it here. Okay, let's go on this side. Let's see if there's anything. Okay. Okay, one more area and then we'll be done. Um, I'm still thinking about the two kind of Asian looking pieces. We're going to think about those. Okay. Okay, music's loud, so I don't know if I'm going to have to probably put some music over their music. I did look at this wooden duck. It does have a label, but it's been ripped off. I don't know. It's got a lot of dust on it, but the beak almost looks like it... No, I don't think it's broken. I just... I'm, I'm going to wait. I don't see anything else. Please let me know. Please let me know if I'm ever passing up anything. Okay. Going in front of the fan. This looks like it used to have a pen or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. If anybody knows what that is, that's... I don't know. Maybe it was like this. I'm not sure. interesting. Look at this. Interesting. Okay. I'm okay. Well, these, this is kind of where they put the planters, vases, and stuff like that. the last area a while ago but I forgot about this area so let's look in here real quick I think this one was one that was cracked all the way yeah all the way through it's still here look how pretty that is I think stuff I should have given myself credit for just so hard let's look down here
Look at those blue ones, they're so pretty. got a lot of chips in it. A lot. Okay. We're going to leave it. Okay. Okay. So I finished up at Thrift USA and I want to show you what I got because these, you couldn't really see them. Um, they had them behind the glass and they always take anything they have behind the glass up front. And these were $24.99. So this beautiful, so this is called Glass Eye Studio, if you want to look it up. And I can't find this one or the pink one, which I'll show you here in a minute. Look at the inside of that thing. It's got this kind of rolled up piece of glass. It's amazing. It's I think it's from their Sea, uh, sea Life series, which I don't know what year they did that, but their Sea Life series items go for really well, and I couldn't find these. So um, I'm hoping, hoping. So here's the pink one. Look at that. The pink one's a little smaller, but not by much. No chips or cracks, $24.99. Now, the yellow one may be part of this, but it didn't have the sticker. And I'm worried because the little piney things, spiny things on the sea urchin, it could be a piece of fruit too, I'm not sure, but I think it's um, a sea urchin. The little rubber, the little white things were rubber, and they're, it's not glass. It's just really weird. So I w I'm a little, and they wanted more money for it. I don't know why they don't, you can't identify it. I'll watch it. It could go. Someone might buy it. But for the meantime, I'm willing to just sit on it and wait. I did end up putting back the, there was a Prussia plate that had roses on it. It was $5.99. A lot of the gold was kind of worn on the edges. But the reason why I put it back, the main reason is that it looked like it was transfer wear. When you kind of got it at an angle, it had little dots for the roses and not, they didn't look like brush strokes at all. So I just, I, I don't want a plate just sitting there on, you know, my eBay store collecting dust, I guess. Um, but anyway, I just decided to go ahead and put it back. But I went ahead and got the two kind of Asian, Japanese looking pieces because I don't really have any of that. And I want to see how it does. So I'm willing to take it. I was willing to take a chance. Both pieces match or seem to match. One's marked upon. The other one's not. It's got characters, you know, character uh, on the back. Chinese characters. I guess maybe it's Chinese, not Japanese. But anyway, um, we'll see how that goes. But I'm headed out of town and uh, I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.